Welcome back to Firefly Season on Stuff You Like with me, Sir Samursa. Today, it's Kaylee. There's no place I can be since I found serenity. But you can't take the sky from me. Ah, Kaylee. Little Kaylee. She's like Pinkie Pie in human form and the Firefly character who will restore your faith in humanity. I don't believe there's a power in the verse to stop Kaylee from being cheerful. Sometimes you just want to duct tape your mouth and don't burn the hold for a month. While Inara is secretive and controlled, and Zoe is awesome but stoic, and River is just bat fracked insane, though more action girl than Broken Bird in the movie, Kaylee is irresistible. Like Nanny Og from Discworld, she is in many ways a very uncomplicated personality. Have good sex. And she's also the person that you put in peril to amp up the drama. Yeah, she's not very good in a fight. But K when it leaf fry, she will do your heart good. Unless she gives you apoplexy first for daring to like food and sex. Going on a year now, I ain't had nothing twixt my nethers weren't run on batteries. And machinery. What you care about is the ships, and mine's the nicest. But not necessarily in that order. She's particularly delightful in Shindig, an episode involving a fancy party and thus a change of costume. Kaylee is chirpier than one of Sleeping Beauty's songbirds, the epitome of nerds are sexy, and completely infatuated with Simon Tam. Is it hot in here? <laughs> is that just him? You can really see her longing for him in Safe and also in Serenity. To occasionally hilarious effect. But back to Shindig. Kaylee's weaknesses are one, people insulting her ship. And two, taking things to heart. Especially if they're said by her Nakama. Thoughts around the engine room? Be like a sheep walking on its hind legs. The rest of the crew are as sensitive as a bag of hammers, but Mal taking his frustrations out on Kaylee is pretty painful. Any other crew member wouldn't be very hurt. I mean, they know that Mal is a grumpy sarpus sometimes, but Mal's relationship with Kaylee is very father daughter, big brother, little sister. Shows off your backside. Most of the time. And so she takes his critical comments personal like. But in the manner of stupid, screwing up father figures everywhere, he makes it up to her by buying her a poofy dress and taking her to a fancy party. Where, after a slightly bumpy start when she tries to talk to some mean girls, she finds her people, in the guise of aristocrats who like engines. And her food, in the guise of... well, food. Kaylee takes pleasure in things. Any kind of thing. She is really, truly delighted by the world, and that's what makes her such a popular character. Popular enough to be referenced in World of Warcraft. She's loyal, she's innocent. Yes sir, cat in tight pants. In the sense that she's optimistic and naive, and while I have previously explained that I can't choose a favourite character, Kaylee is the one whose death by Joss Whedon would upset me most. She plays off brilliantly against the other characters. Right she's now, her own woman. Movie. She's strong in her sure. own way. Yeah. Besides, if I mess up, it's not like you'll be able to yell at me. And every time I see her, I just want to give her a hug and pat her on the head and give her a cheeseburger. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaylee Fry. Okay, that's all for this week. Come back next week. We've got another character study. See you then. Bye. My one regret in all of this is never being with you. With me? You mean to say as sex? I mean to say. Hell with this. I'm gonna live.